Steven Crowder is an enigma to me. The guy is a walking meme, okay? The dude's got a failed comedy career. I watch any segment by Steven Crowder, and, like, he'll make a joke, and then it'll hit me five seconds later, like, like wait, that was a joke? Because he's got, like, his lackeys that sit in his studio with him, and they laugh at everything that he says. He pays them to laugh, right? So... Steven Crowder is an enigma. He really does think he's funny. And it is hilarious when Steven Crowder does like a skit. Like I'm talking a real skit with like real production value. You got to remember, despite being a fucking meme, Steven Crowder has insane amounts of uh, funding behind him. So he can afford to do these really, really high profile, very well funded, high production value skits. Um, do you guys remember the song parody about Trump winning the election that he did a while back? I, I'm so glad um, that Biden won because God damn, God damn, did that not age well? Damn, did that not uh, did that not age well? Hold on, Stephen Crowder, the best Trump parody. Where is it? Here it is. Hold on. Can we? We're going to rewatch this. We're going to rewatch this one more time. Just to remind you all, I just want all of you to Pepe laugh at how badly this aged. If I'm being honest, it's it, it's converted from like you know how like there's there's two different kinds of cringe, right? There's funny, enjoyable cringe, and then there's like the cringe that makes you feel sick to your stomach, the cringe that makes you feel like you just tried to read a book in the car and it, like you have motion sickness, right? This is now funny cringe now because Trump lost. And conservatives have been coping over it for months. So it makes me very happy. When did this come out? I'm curious. September 2020. This is before the election. He really fucking banked into Trump winning with this song. It did not age well. These four years were just a sneak preview. Yeah? Were they? Oh yeah. Oh, one more years, huh? Uh-huh. All right, guys, hot take. Steven Crowder's not that bad at singing, all right? Like, his singing isn't bad. The lyrics are what's unbelievably cringe. His, his, his singing's not bad. He's not a bad singer. I don't think you guys realize what, like, a bad singer is, okay? I am a bad singer. My, I can literally, Alex, you're literally tone deaf. I am not literally tone deaf. I'm, I'm actually, like, literally not tone deaf. Um, he's not a bad singer. He's not a great singer. He's like a, he's a good singer. He's like, he's above average in singing, I would say. He, he can do like the, he can sing. He can do it. It might be auto-tuned. There might be like up the reverb. They might have done things to make it sound better than he actually is. I wouldn't be surprised. They've got a lot of production value behind this, but he's not a terrible singer. It's the contents of the song that makes you cringe. My friends. 
your fake news. Are you ready to lose again? Yeah. When Biden poops. Oh, good line. You can try to resist, but you will lose. My terms are short of like Twix, my friends. Yeah? They come in Mm-hmm. Yeah? Because Trump is getting the best. Do they? The best. So, my friends, after that humiliating, uh, terribly predicted uh, (laughs) song that did not age well, it aged worse than the uh, cup of milk I left in the car in the desert for two weeks, Um, (laughs) Crowder has graced us with another lethal dose of cringe. Prepare yourselves. You should probably right now. I'm sorry, America. I hope you don't live in America because you're going to need health care for this. You should probably call your doctor and uh, schedule a scan because this is going to induce a lot of cringe. This is Steven Crowder's cope skit. Very high production value. I watched the beginning of it. Bow to no one. Crowder returns. 300 parody. Louder with Crowder. Crowder did... A 300 parody where Crowder and the conservatives are the Spartans and Biden is Xerxes. I wonder if Crowder's actually seen 300 because Crowder's supposed to be Leonidas. Leonidas dies. Leonidas fucking dies. Also, historically, I think the Persians were actually pretty based. Um, But yeah. The Spartans were fairly based, too. To be fair, the Spartans were pretty, like, for the time, pretty, like, progressive, all right? Like, unironically, you got to do a little bit of research. The Spartans were pretty fucking uh, based for the time. All right. Prepare yourselves. Hey, vermin. Spartans were not fascist. After the battle of 2020, Crowder readies before the legions of big tech apply. Our mug club warriors are outnumbered and exhausted, but it is not fear that grips them, only a heightened sense of things. Cool air in their lungs, the wind sweeping the plugs which stand atop the head of the professed victor. The former vice president and would-be god king sits atop his throne as he speaks. No, you can't. You can't do that, Crowder. You can't do that. You can't say that, like, Biden is viewed as, like, a god king to the left when you guys literally filleted Trump and called him your god emperor for four years. You can't do that. You, like, come on, dude. All right, now listen to me. Steven Crowder should have hired me to write this, okay? If Steven Crowder gave me a million dollars to to write this, I could have done a much better job, okay? If you want to fit with the conservative ideology, they should have made the Persian soldiers have the NPC like have NPC masks. You know what I mean? You know how conservatives like to say that lefties are NPCs? Hold on, where's the NPC Wojak? That would have been a perfect time to like CGI edit this face onto the Persian soldiers, okay? That would have been a much better meme. That would have been a much better conservative meme, okay? He really should have hired me. I would would have done it for for a million dollars. I'm not lying. Guys, I'm gonna be real. If Crowder gave me a million dollars to to fucking run one of these cringy-ass fucking skits with their high-ass production value, I would have taken it, okay? Like, (laughs) I'm sorry. Because to make it very clear... These videos don't make Crowder or conservatism look good. You know that, right? 
This does nothing good for conservatives. This makes conservatives look like LARPing, coping dipshits. It doesn't help spread conservative ideology. Nobody is going to enjoy this video unless they're already bought fully into the fucking Kool-Aid. ...to an undefeated foe. Crowder, despite your insufferable arrogance, the God King has come to admire your fighting spirit and your... mugs. You could make a dog come mugs. Could they have not have hired a better Biden voice impersonator? I feel like there's a million people out there that can do a better impression of Biden's voice. They don't even have the mannerisms down. Like why not even, why not have like the stutter or like the like why not have like why not have him say Jack or like uh I don't know, like some some actual you know, some actual Biden mannerisms. Wait, is he like is he wearing like the Chinese flag there? Is that what that is? Is that supposed to be the Chinese flag? I can't really tell. Like the CCP flag? Is that what that's supposed to be? Ha, huh, nice. Aren't aren't Crowder's mugs made in China? A mighty ally, man. Even in light of okay, the continued he did the man. insults. Your horrid hate speech blasphemy. The Lord of Hosts is prepared to forgive all and more to reward your service. Thank you, babe. My girlfriend has provided me ramen you, soup. You fight for your channel, man. Keep it. You fight for your whole thing. Keep them too. Your victory will be complete if you but lay down your arms and kneel before your holy former vice president. That was edited in from the movie. What the fuck is that arrow? Uh, well, these are from the act. I don't know if you've seen uh, 300 Vermin, but the, like a lot of the clips that you're seeing are actually just clips from the movie. Like it's mostly just the parts with Joe Biden and Crowder in them that actually that are actually like somewhat originally made. They're clipping in a lot of bits from the movie. Like that scene right there is from the movie. That's not actually like, from Crowder's video. It's a fucking microphone instead of a spear. Jesus Christ. Is he gonna ask him to debate? I will kill myself right now on stream if he asks- if he- if he doesn't change my mind to Biden. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my god. Crowder, why would you do this? I swear to god if he asks Joe Biden to debate. What? Oh, he's got his dog- his dog cum! He's gonna drink the dog cum! I I would like to point out very quickly that this is a um very copy but also I want to point out that this was a skit literally just depicting Steven Crowder assaulting the president. I wonder how that's going to I wonder how that's going to work out. Also yes, he screamed this is mug club. Um hey listen, got to be proud of drinking that dog cum. That's what's in the mugs. Remember. What did he say? I'm hard of hearing and can't understand what he said. Oh no, it's not you, I promise. It's actually just very bad audio balancing. Basically he yelled, 
This is Mug Club. I don't think Leonidas yelled, this is Sparta, in that scene. He yelled it before kicking the messenger into the, into the endless pit. He did not yell the line that they are parroting in that scene. That's not what happened. Anyway, um, so listen, all right? Conservatives are ODing on copium still months later. It's hilarious because for the most part, like the, the protests against Trump's presidency basically after the inauguration ended back in 2016 and 2017, um, like for the most part, people just kind of like got to doing their thing, like people that supported Hillary. Um, the thing with Trump supporters, though, is they like they fucking bet their entire fucking lives on Trump winning. They really thought no one because if we're being honest, they literally view Trump as their god king. They really do. No lefty views Biden as their god king, okay? Lefties hate Biden. They really do. You have to be living in a, in a fucking alternate universe to be convinced otherwise. So this is just pure copium from Crowder, and it's very fun to watch. It is, because no matter how high production value their cope videos are, or their little skits are, or their videos are, it just feels good knowing that they're very, very mad that Trump lost. They're very mad that America snapped out of it and realized just how shitty having a fascist in power is. Um, that's the main thing. If a fascist comes to power and there's an ample opportunity to get them out of power and the populist has enough time to realize how bad fascist rule is, they will typically um, elect to get that fascist out of power. It's true. It really, really is. Um, if there wasn't a 2020 election, then, you know, we wouldn't have had that opportunity. But after four years of Trump, people were done with that shit. Biden won the most uh, popular votes of all time. That's how much we had extremely high voter turnout. More, I think more voter turnout than we did uh, with Obama. And it wasn't because people liked Biden. It was because they hated Trump. Imagine that. Imagine the guy who beat your guy is so unpopular that we had record-breaking voter turnout because people wanted to vote for the other guy. We had the highest voter turnout of all time because people hated Trump so much that they came out in droves to vote for Biden. Well, actually, they didn't come out. They voted through, through mail-in because of the coronavirus pandemic. But yeah, very, very fucking funny. Zan, you're neglecting your ramen soup. That will have consequences. No, I'm not. I'm ending the segment now. All right. That was very fun. I hope you didn't grow any extra tumors, guys. Um, I might have actually killed some of you because we watched two cringy Crowder videos in a row, but <laughs> that was pretty fun. It was a good time. Hey, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. It helps the video a lot. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe and ring the bell icon so YouTube actually tells you when I live stream or upload a new video. Also, if you're watching this right after it was uploaded, I should be live in one hour at 1pm PST every day on YouTube and my website, xanderhall.com. Please come stop by and say hello. I love seeing new people in chat. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description. Join my fan discord if you want to contact me for a discussion or debate through the link in the description as well. If you're feeling extra generous and you can afford it, you can support me financially by donating or subscribing on my website, hitting the join button below the video to become a channel member, or super chatting during my streams. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.